yesterday doesn't really count because we were uh, taking the kids out. Everything we found went to the school. We didn't get to keep it. There's Bill. There's Mike one over there on the hill. There's Lisa and Grady over there. And uh, Leslie in the background. And uh, it's hotter than hell today. But at least we're up on the plateau where there's a bit of a breeze. If we were down in the lowlands, we'd be broiling. I haven't found a whole lot yet. We've only been out here a couple of hours so far. But uh, nothing spectacular, but I have extracted a lot of teeth. I've extracted more teeth from this hill than an Adonis extracts in a lifetime, I think. Just uh, my little jar here is full of sections of jaw with teeth in it. So we'll sort this out later. I'm still collecting. Everywhere I look, I see teeth. Lots of little bones, too. Nothing spectacular yet, but day's young. About lunchtime. Definitely time to leave the Badlands. Rain is coming. We all climbed out before it started. A lot of lightning too, which is a little scary. Being up here on this high bluff. Um, when it rains, these Badlands get slick as axle grease. Uh, we got out here after a four-day rain, and they were just too slick to climb. And then it, it rained and hailed on us the f one day while we were out here, and uh, we were we were stuck at the bottom. You just look around at what's in the washes because you can't climb. But uh, we spent all day out here climbing around in the plateau over here and on some of these fingers out here. And uh, it's time to go, though. It's getting late. Rain's coming. I'm tail in, Charlie. Everybody else is uh, back in the trucks on the ATVs. They'll be back for me, though. I know they will because Mike Searle found some rhino footprints. We got three stones with rhino footprints in them. And as you can see, the heel pad and uh, one, two, three toes. Clear as can be. And uh, one of the other stones that's even more obvious. This is like the least obvious of the tracks. He found a whole trackway. So uh, he'll be back with the ATV to pick me and the stone up. Mainly the stone, I think. <laughs> so it's been a good day. I didn't find much but teeth. Leslie found something. We're not quite sure what it is. Mike found his uh, his stones uh, with the rhino footprints. Bill found the skull of something. Not sure what. Joe always finds a couple things. I'll hear about it at dinner what he found. And uh, it's a good day though. Even though it was uh, pretty stinking hot most of the day, we had a good breeze. Good day for fossil hunting. I've got a I've got I've extracted more teeth from those hills than uh, most uh, most dentists have extracted from people's mouths. So uh, I think it's been a good day for me, even though I didn't find anything spectacular. I've got a lot of little uh, pieces of jaw with with nice teeth in them. So it'll be fun trying to figure out what species they're from. Multiple species, no doubt. Oh, and I hear my ride coming. Yep, here comes Mike pick up his stone. Oh, and maybe me too. <laughs> then it's back to the homestead and dinner. I think we earned it today. Just got back to the homestead. Raining, thundering, lightning, nice rainbow. Day six in the Badlands. Hot, no wind. It's a real broiler. Uh, Leslie is up there. 
up high. Joe's on the other side of this hill, digging something he found. I'm down here in the washes looking for trails of bones to follow uphill. Not finding too much yet, but uh, the day's young. Only been here a little over an hour. It's kind of unprecedented to have six straight days of good weather out here. That's coming to an end soon, but this will probably be our last day of hunting. We need to spend tomorrow packing up everything we've found so far for the trip home. And then Friday we have to check out of the homestead. So if we find something big today, the logistics could be difficult. But we're going to look. Let me uh, scour these washes and see if I can find a trail of bones. Well, I hit the jackpot. The last few hours of the last day, this is uh, at least part of a titanothere skull. But we're not going to be able to dig it out. We're not going to have time to dig it out. So we're going to stop digging on it, winterize it, and see if we can come back next year. Or maybe Joe can dig it out for us later. We'll see. But... Uh, it's the jackpot. Found the big one. I'm happy. Okay, Leslie's raining on my parade and telling me it's probably just a jaw. But hey, it's a titanothere. So, I'm still happy. I'm not going to let her ruin my day. <laughs> There's been a change of plans. After consulting with uh, more senior members of the expedition, we decided to salvage as much of the animal as we could. And then uh, I've winterized the hole because the bones just keep going. There's just no end to it. So it's going back into the hill. So hopefully this will survive until we're out here next spring. Nobody else will find it and dig it up. And uh, we'll continue excavating and see what else is back there. But it got uh, four really nice teeth out of it. So that's, that's great. And a bunch of miscellaneous bone that I can glue together in the off-season. So... It's been a good day. It's been a really good day. Well, there's the packages. Those aren't T-bone steaks. That's titanothere bones. Titanothere teeth. All wrapped up. Now we just gotta walk them out of here. To where the ATV can pick us up. Come back next year and get some more. It's been a good day. I'll take the buckets over there and clean them in a bit. All these are empties in here then? Lots of completed jackets full of fossils, ready to go in the truck to be driven back to Florida. been a good trip.